It's your boy Nash Streets here. Welcome to There's a Man in the Egg. I wonder who it could be. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time. At that time, when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here. He freaked my brother out a couple of times. I am an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Hopefully it's just that. Find my phone. Uh, I can't run. That's not good. Where's my phone at? Yeah, it's not in here. Dang, so I was tormenting my little brother because I, bro, nah, that ain't nothing. My brother used to run down the hallway and he used to get loot. I don't need to use the bathroom now. My brother used to run down the hallway and he used to get scared, bro, and have nightmares. It was, it was scary, bro. That's the type of scary you don't want to get up out of bed. Just hope and pray he don't come in your room. <laughs> Alex, hey brother, I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for your invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are and their imagination. She probably is very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Yeah, she if inspect nah bro. It's not a coincidence if she had the same dream. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. Now if she had the same dream, bro, that you had, today my brother came to visit and he brought his family along and his wife and their seven old seven year old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically she is my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them. So we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. She showed all of her cartoon channels and left her there to watch some. TV away from the boring adult. She was grateful. Yeah, but what she see? That's why. That's why we're really here. She seen some. Maybe she didn't throw a fit at all. Two dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Then it was ready, to, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran down to the screen. She looked absolutely terrified. Yeah, she saw something. Like I said, it looked. It looked, it took her a couple of minutes before she could speak, but finally she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway, confused, perhaps a bit frightened. We all went upstairs, searched, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed the story claimed and claimed she was probably just getting tired. And soon after they left for the night, I am once again completely alone in the house. And Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Yeah, I bet it does, bro. John Hall's store is creep back on you. That's a time to get some sleep. Boiler room. Boiler room. I don't need to go in there. You got to. What? what? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I found my phone, but didn't put it back. Do I, do, did I come from upstairs? But I don't remember. I don't need to use the bathroom now. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Nah, bro. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing. Looking straight at her from the doorway before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Or maybe it's something about this room, bro. Maybe it's something about this room. Close that, close that freaking door. Uh, bro. There's noises there coming from the attic. Yeah, the attic is upstairs, right? Search the attic. Where you gonna be bent, bro? I ain't got no weapons, no guns, or nothing. I don't remember leaving this door open. Oh, hey, no, nah, bro. The ambience or the ambiance got crazy. Uh, bro, what? Is, I'm in the attic already. Why are you still moving around? Okay, there's nothing in there, bro. Oh my god, look at that picture. This is stupid. There is nothing up here. And I can't run. Uh, chill, bro. I don't know which way to look. Uh, yeah, bump all that. Yeah, you tripping. Shut this door. Don't be standing in the hallway that, bro. Yeah. 
Just tweaking, bro. I would do a full house search if it was just me. Bump that. Go to bed. I'm about to get slaughtered in my sleep. Sometimes it's a strange noise at night keeps you awake then you anxiously search for the cause but you won't find anything you question it once more is the man in the attic real is he real uh just like if that's me standing right there that's my shadow figure so Bro, what's happening? I literally can't move, so. Oh my god, bro. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Well, that I'm gonna be afraid. Being afraid keeps you alive most of the time. It depends on the circumstance. Thank you for playing my specific fear of the man in the attic. Damn, bro. So this dude had this when he he had this fear of him this happening when he was little, probably. Hence the game house was made. Or National Street, and this was more of a like uh um just a atmosphere scary. Nothing was actually there. I'm pretty sure. In his head it was, but as he grown into adult, it actually never came alive. Now about that, I feel like if somebody said they seen something, then you seen something when they were little, then you seen something when you were little. Something has to be wrong, right? It's the Boy National Streets. Now we'll see you on the next video. Peace.